Hello. Today I'm going to take a look at one of these uh, voltage regulators with uh, constant current and constant voltage adjustment. So it's also one of the ones that's based on the LM2596, very popular IC. So on the meters here we've got the output voltage and the output current, no current flowing at the moment. My supply is uh, 24 volts and capable of pushing out up to half an amp and I'm going to be using it in uh, battery charging mode for a sealed lead acid cell. Uh, two main features for these units uh, battery charging and LED driving. So I'm going to take a look first at the battery charging. Also these circuits can be used just as a general purpose um, regulated voltage with a current limit. This is very useful if you're developing circuits and uh, using one of these type of uh, breadboard arrangements. And see there's another voltage regulator on there but it doesn't have uh, output current limiting. And uh, it does concern me sometimes when you see people driving those circuits from uh, a lithium polymer battery, LiPo, uh, which are capable of dumping considerable amounts of current. So if you happen to get a, a wire wrong, um, the whole thing could go up in smoke. So always a good idea to keep a few of these modules around that you can set up and uh, give you a degree of, of safety if you short something out. So the first thing to do in the battery charging mode uh, is to decide uh, what the, the, the parameters are for the battery that you're using. Uh, in, in this case uh, it's uh, uh, simple because it's written on the side. So in the standby mode which this, which this is going to be um, you can use 13.7 uh, to uh, 13.9 volts and initial current less than 2 amps. So 13.7 is going to be the output voltage that we are wanting to set this to. I uh, should explain that the potentiometer on the left hand side uh, adjusts the output voltage. The one on the right hand side uh, is used for setting the current limit which we will see in a moment. I'm going to set this up now for your 13.7 volts. So that's the, the meter on the left hand side. Let's see there now the voltage rising. So 13.7 volts is there as makes no difference. So now having set the output voltage, we need to set our current limit as well. So I'm just going to put my current meter into the into the circuit. And we can see immediately that uh, the constant current voltage light has come on, the red one at the top, and the charge indicator. This doesn't mean much at this point in time. So now, adjusting the right-hand potentiometer, we want to set the output current to half an amp. So there we have our half an amp output. So if we now remove the meter from the from the circuit, you can see our voltage is set to 13.7 and our output current is limited to half an amp. So in a real world scenario now, let's just connect this to the battery. So as you can see there, the voltage coming up, our constant current indicator is, is on, the red LED at the top, to show that uh, the half amp that we set, as you can see on the meter, is, is flowing. And as the voltage comes up and approaches the 13.7 uh, the that we set, um, that blue charge lamp will go off and go back to the OK condition and the constant current uh, go off as well. So just to be clear, the end of charge light there, you can see the, the blue light which is on when it's charging 
goes out and uh, it just goes back to the OK situation. Uh, you do have some control over that end of charge. You can see we're at 13.6 volts and uh, just over a quarter of an amp. It is possible to tweak that value with the centre pot. You can back it off. That was just rotating it anti-clockwise, so that has set the end of charge condition to be a slightly higher voltage, obviously a slightly less, less current. So you can play around with that to your heart's content, so you can set that, uh, that end of charge. So the charge light, um, the blue lamp, is on when it's charging, and you can set the off condition, so when the battery is, is, is charged. I think that has caused uh, quite a lot of confusion for people when they've been trying to play with that pot. Um, has no significance at all when you're using it in the other mode, which of course is the LED driver mode, uh, which we'll look at. I think we're going to have a part two. It'll be a first for me, a part two. And in part two, we'll look at uh, LED driving. So we've got a 10 watt LED there. And I found a rather super little... I think it's probably a 386 uh, AMD CPU fan, so uh, we'll get some holes tapped and drilled in that and uh, have a play with this guy as an LED driver. Hope you found that useful. So just final values there, the 13.65 and as you, as you can see the, the current dropping, dropping right away now as it reaches the float condition.